Let's get into our awesome things of the week, and let's do the cleanup on some Star Wars action from last week. There's this leftover Star Wars Day uh, stuff going on, uh, Dutters? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say it would be because it did come out on Star Wars Day, and we mm. talked about so much other fun Star Wars things. It was like, we'll save some for this week. And this week is Star Wars droid stamps that are now available at the um, post office, either a post office or buy them online. Do not buy them for eBay because I just, when I was pulling up the link for this, there was a list, there were listings on eBay for way more than what you can mm. buy them for from the post office. But the, yeah, they're readily available at the post office, right? Yeah. These so. are ba- brand new, just dropped. Um, but yeah, do you have a collection of 10 different droids, including um, IG-11, C-3PO, R2-D2, BB-8's on there. And uh, they are forever stamps, so, you know, you can save these for whenever you want to use them because they last forever. You know, it doesn't fluctuate with the price of stamps. Um, I am a big collector of stamps. I love collecting stamps. I have a giant bin of them, and I will buy them and never use them because I just like to look at the artwork. And I will definitely be picking these up, I think, this week because I want to make sure I get them before they're all gone. Excellent. I'm, 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 I'm might be ordering some now. <laughs> so. Yeah. And it's then if a... you go through the post office, if you if you go into the U- USPS uh, site and you look up droids, um, mm-hmm. forever stamps, you can look and they have and they do this with any releases of, of new collector stamps. Uh, they'll have different like post uh, like different um, envelopes like that are really cool with a specific there. This one has a, a droids guide to the galaxy with a big map of where all the droids are from. Mm. And it looks like a little passport book. It's like $37, which is really reasonable. Plus you get the stamps. Uh, They have a framed stamp set, like with one particular droid. And then they'll have a set of the stamps at the bottom. So if you like, if you're droids like Dio from the, if you're a big fan of Dio, you can get Dio in a a, a framed picture. And uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of cool stuff. I love stamps. (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah. Go check that out. Um, That's great. Uh, so like, I, I I don't have a lot of stamps. Like I, I honestly don't know if I would just end up using them or not. But also this is great if you're if you're uh, want to kind of support the post office because obviously there's been you know a lot of uh, uh, ups and downs there. And my order is placed. Um, <laughs> this is a way to do it, especially with those decorative stamps and special editions. They, they do have nice collectibles. I you know I remember you know when we used to have the regular package drop offs uh, for my old job. Like I just go in and they'd have you know whatever artist thing or Superman or something like that. They seems like they always have something, you know, that, that, that's been, um, you know, some anniversary of something. Right. So that's awesome. Mm-hmm. So, so, so how, how, how big is your stamp collection? This is the, this is nothing. I think this is a, this is a reveal here. So how, how <laughs> stampy are you? Um, I, I did a game. Oh my gosh. I think it was a couple years ago where I have one of those tins that the cookie tins mm-hmm. and it was, it, is it like, sewing stuff because you keep your sewing thing in one of those tins obviously sewing supplies and then i also keep my stamps in there so this thing is probably this and by this wide so i have no idea how many stamps i have i pull them off envelopes if i don't have one Mm. um i will buy the sheets of them but yeah i do like collecting stamps so i I don't know how many i have but it's a bunch it's a lot (laughs) i think all i have is i have a batman uh sheet of batman that somebody gave me for like christmas or birthday or something and uh yeah so i have i have those uh, up there so uh on the on the shelf um i can't it's like should i get a frame for it like i've never I'm like they're just kind of sitting there and i'm like i don't know like i like it but i don't know what to do with it <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know? like is there like a presentation i guess you can frame it there's there's nothing wrong with that right you frame it put it in in a album, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> like a, photo album. Ooh, a, bu- a physical book album what is that about i know i should probably do that with mine actually <laughs> <laughs> something to pull off the shelf so Chilla do, Chilla, do you have any um, any collectible stamps? I have the 2007 um, sheet of the Star Wars stamp collection. Okay. Um, and I think that back then they kind of had a commemorative series. I think it came with a book um, and a bunch of other stuff. So I have those. Um, no other... Nothing I have major. lots of other Star Wars stuff, but <clears throat> I don't think I have any other stamp stuff other than I have a collection of old letters and whatnot from my great-great-grandparents. <gasps> oh, 
think it's great great grandparents and great grandparents um and they actually there are a lot of the letters are still in envelopes which have old mm. stamps and i mean like one cent two cent wow. stamps on them um they're so old the stamps are starting to kind of just fall off the letters <laughs> so there's some stamps in the box mm -hmm. um but that's a i think that's the only parts of my stamp i have full sheets of star wars tops collectors cards mm -hmm. but i think that's that's the, the in that's a stamp awesome. category i think i have very very little in the stamp world that's awesome I need to have pokemon stamps yes i'm surprised they haven't yeah. uh chilla